we want to see what are adjacent angles, linear pair of angles and vertically opposite angles. So first we will look at adjacent angles. Let me draw a pair of adjacent angles. So this is how I can show adjacent angles and I'll just name the arms and the points. Let's say this is A, then this is B, let this be D and this be C. So the adjacent angles are angle A, B, D and angle D, B, C. Now if I have to show these angles, angle A, B, D is this one here and angle D, B, C is here. So now what is the definition of adjacent angles? There are three important points that we need to remember for the adjacent angles. And while I mention all these points, we will look at the figure and confirm if these are indeed the adjacent angles. So the first thing for adjacent angles is that they need to have a common vertex. Do angles ABD and angle DBC have a common vertex? Yes, the common vertex is B. The next thing to look at for adjacent angles is that they have a common arm. So common arm is basically an arm of an angle. So in angle ABD, AB and BD are the arms. So do I see a common arm? Yes, BD here and DB here are the common arms. So basically this, this particular arm that I see is a common arm which is BD. The third thing to remember about adjacent angles is that the uncommon arms should be on different sides of the common arm. So uncommon arms are AB and BC. These AB and BC arms are on different sides of arm BD which is the common arm. Now what is not the example of the adjacent angles in here? Now with the same pair of angles if I write angle ABC and angle ABD. So if I have to mark these, this is angle ABC and this is angle ABD. I'll write angle ABD in orange. Now let's see if angle ABC and angle ABD are adjacent angles. So let's use the check mark for all these three points. Do these angles have a common vertex? Yes, they do. We see B here. So the first point is satisfied. Do they have a common arm? So let's remove this figure as well. Angle ABC and angle ABD definitely have this as a common arm, which is AB. You see AB, AB is present in angle ABC and as well as in angle ABD. And that is why the second point is also satisfied. Let's check whether the third point is satisfied or not. Uncommon arms should be on different sides of the common arm. So now AB is the common arm. Where, where this one and this one which is BD and BC are the uncommon arms. But they are on the same side of arm AB and that is why the third point is not satisfied and that is why these two angles are not adjacent. Making a mind map of adjacent angles which are angles which sit side by side like this is helpful. Even if you do not remember all these three points, just visualizing how they look like is enough. Now let's see what are linear pair of angles. Linear pair of angles basically form a line when they are put side by side. They are also adjacent angles but they form kind of a line like this. So if I have a figure like this, let me put point A, point B, point C and point D then angle ABC and angle CBD form linear pair of angles. And when we properly try to define this, how we can define this is the uncommon arms of these adjacent angles form a line. So the uncommon arms here are AB and BD and ABD are collinear. So basically B is the point that lies between A and D and all three points are collinear and that's why AD is a line. So basically linear pair of angles are the adjacent angles where the non-common arms form a line. What about vertically opposite pair of angles? In vertically opposite pair of angles, you see a cross like this forming. So basically whenever you have two lines intersecting, you just have to look at the angles which are opposite to each other. Basically something like this or something like this. So if I name these points, 
so this is say p q r s and if i name the center point as m so let's just name it m the blue pair is going to be angle p m s and angle q m r also or the vertically opposite angles are congruent so remember that as a fact and the other pair is i should have written that in blue so let me write, write that quickly in blue so angle p m s and angle q m r are the opposite pair of angles and the other one i'll write in the the pink color angle angle p m q and angle s m r these are the vertically opposite pair of angles usually you can just spot vertically opposite angles by looking at the lines intersecting you just see the cross like this and then you get two pairs of vertically opposite angles i always enjoy looking at the real world and finding out adjacent linear pair or vertically opposite pair of angles it's it's just interesting to see a clear example of such kind is a traffic square where else do you see adjacent and linear pair of angles in real life comment down below